Welcome back to the channel investors specifically my penny stock investors guys It is just another day here in OTC and penny stock land as we continue to call more and more 100% bangers guys If you have not been a part of a 100% play in the last week Then you are definitely missing out and I highly highly suggest you start following along here on this channel and getting some of this deep DD But this is a pretty important video here because it's a 4th of July special guys I have a brand new penny stock to share with you guys in today's video that is sitting at 0.022 right now now I have not heard anybody talking about this penny stock whatsoever in fact I got a hot tip from a professional OTC trader that has been trading OTC stocks for his entire life and he gave me a tip on a big catalyst coming up for this stock so it is brand new nobody's talking about it and I'm super excited to share it with you guys in today's video so make sure and stay tuned now in addition to that I have about five other penny stocks that I really want to share with you guys some of them have huge catalysts coming up here in the near future and others are just making great progress on their long-term goals that i want to share with you as well because guess what i love to play these catalyst plays absolutely i love to catch those quick 30 to 2 to 300 percent quick winners but at the same time i love to continue to drip continue to dollar cost average in into some of my favorite long-term penny stocks why because those are gains down the road that could be one two three four thousand percent gains when they get out of penny stock land and into the, a real stock if you will right but so those are the stocks that i love to drip into long term which i have for you in this video as well just super excited to share with you guys make sure and stay tuned to the entire video make sure and subscribe to the channel if you don't already hit that bell icon so you can get these videos as soon as i release them and let's get right into this video so first year from Joe Kaz sensing a lot of updates after this holiday weekend position yourself and be ready 100% be ready for what is to come in this market I do agree there's going to be many many catalysts to come here and I'm going to be doing tons of DD over the weekend to find you guys the best penny stocks in the entire market now getting to this brand new penny stock right here I'm going to start it off right away I will not keep you guys waiting that is ticker symbol MLFB major league football I need to share this stock with you guys as you can see right now sitting at 0 0.022 the only people that got access to this first was of course the members of our discord here i shared this stock with them yesterday also the day before here mlfb launching august 9th only publicly traded sports league football like usfl first ever game coming august 9th big big stock catalyst right here so of course you guys are second to get the alerts if you want to get these stock alerts in real time as soon as as I make them and also option trades every single day of the week as you can see we have a couple option analysts in here including myself posting plays every single day of the week making massive massive gains here then I highly suggest you click that link in the description below to patreon and come join us in the discord can't wait to see you guys over there we also trade live every single morning I'll see you guys over there but regardless as we can see jumping over to Twitter here we can see MLFB tickets on sale on Wednesday league launches August 9th we can see from access wire right here that they announced their partnership with etix hopefully i'm pronouncing that correctly for the upcoming 2022 season so much going on with this stock in the beginning of august yes we still have a whole month till some of these catalysts but when they hit oh boy this could be a big one so keep this one on your watch list but let's move on here now one of the uh one of the next stocks that I'm really, really looking at hard here is ticker symbol UMGP, a Universal Media Group. Now, this stock is up quite substantially over the last five days, up about 89%. Nevertheless, having a slight pullback right now with many opportunities ahead. Let's take a look here. So from their Twitter account, which by the way is the best way to catch updates for these tiny penny stocks is on Twitter. If you're not on Twitter, highly suggest you get there and also highly suggest you follow me so you can see all of these and not have to go and search for them. I try to get all the work done for you, but nevertheless here we can see from their team good morning our team at universal media umgp wants to thank our investors for reaching out with multiple questions about their new ventures we have multiple updates over the next few weeks including prs to highlight their substantial progress concerning their uplisting new shows and merger and acquisitions these are some of the best catalysts in the game right here that are coming up very very shortly over the next few weeks for this stock obviously the stock ran on this news nevertheless though 
I think a great opportunity would be let these stocks cool off, right? And then ultimately we'll catch the run up to the big catalyst. You don't want to hold them through the catalyst, right? Because more than likely the stocks are going to go down. But once they start getting more tweets, like, okay, we got our PR coming next week. That's when they're going to start to run, right? So let this stock cool off. We'll wait for some more business updates to come out. Take those, ride them all the way up until those catalysts are actually expected to come out. Sell before that, sell the news essentially, and let investors dump the news because the classic saying, buy the rumor sell the news so literally all you have to do is hop on that bandwagon and there's tons of opportunity here right also there are some very big penny stocks penny stock groups such as penny stocks today here who uh sends out uh, awesome alerts to his investors and as we can see here they're on this stock already alerting it alerted it yesterday so tons of accumulation coming here there is news that's going to come in a very tiny float this stock has a big opportunity to run. Obviously, that's why I'm sharing it with, with you guys here. Uh, but the next one would be ticker symbol SPOM, SPO Global, right? The reason I like this stock too much is because they recently reported revenues of over $31 million. This stock is literally sitting at under a $3 million market cap. That is why I think this stock is so powerful. As far as immediate catalysts coming up, I don't know of any immediate catalysts coming up. Let me know down in the comments if you guys do. Also, let me know what penny stocks you guys are looking at right now so I can continue to look at them. But at the same time here, this is a very, very undervalued stock and definitely has the potential to run anywhere from 100 to 500% really without any trouble as soon as that uh, market cap catches up to their uh, revenues that they are bringing in. So keep an eye on SPOM. Now, a little lesson here, HDUP, this stock we've been talking about for a while. They obviously had some great news coming up. I put this in the Discord. We ran this stock up about 17% on this catalyst. But as soon as the catalyst hit, as you can see, the stock is now down 11% over the last five days. That is just what happens. So if they're like, we got news coming out on what's this, July 7th, right? You're not going to be chasing the stock and buying in on July 7th. More than likely, that's when the stock is going to dump. Your opportunity is to ride the run up and sell the news. That's how these OTC stocks and penny stocks are working here. So, and have always worked, right? So just, uh, just keep an eye on that and don't be buying in, you know, when the news is going to come because you're probably just going to get dumped on and get caught holding the bag, essentially. Moving on here, ticker symbol NXMR. I know I'm going through these pretty quickly, but I want to keep this short and sweet on this Friday so you guys can enjoy the 4th of July weekend. But ticker symbol NXMR here, oh, oh, getting on my nerves a little bit. So stock's down 23% just today. Look, they have big catalysts coming up, no doubt. We can see here, new oil field service company acquisition. NXMR would like to announce it completed the acquisition of Two Brothers Services LLC, which is a New Mexico LLC that provides oil field services uh, in this uh, basin here. They acquired the entire company, 30,000 shares, right? You get the drill. So great update there. Even better than that, though, is that they have three more deals to complete coming up here. And the first one essentially is finished. Also, they have the share cancellation when all the deals are complete. Their updates are just a little much. I think they created way too much hype in the beginning, which was nice because it rode this stock up 30 to 40%, which we were able to capitalize on. Hopefully, you guys were taking profits. I always say that, right? So essentially, you could be riding runners at this point, but... At the same time, I think they put out way too many updates way too quick, and now investors are selling the news. You're not really getting too much excitement, right? But nevertheless, many more deals to come, and a lot of people still are loading up just like Moon Market, so it honestly could be a great idea to get a better deal down at these lower prices, wait until their deals actually come through, wait till the share cancellation, and we could see, you know, hopefully we will see a big increase in NXMR. That's what we're hoping for here, right? I've always said this, this stock is on the top of my list, but they just haven't been impressing me too much here in the relatively near future. So see what happens. But anyways, that's NXMR. Now let's move on to some bigger stocks here that I uh, that I want to update you guys on as well. Many of you of you have been asking for an update on ticker symbol INTK. So let's take a look at it here sitting at 0.0094. Now, INTK, we can see that we got an update here from the CEO that their website is done, being proofread, and then is going to be launched, taking longer because of website size and massive volume of content. Whatever, all great stuff. But importantly, INT car ha or INTK has a PR coming next week, and they're also their new website is launching next month. So this PR could act as a pretty big catalyst coming up here. But regardless, two record quarters in a row, eight million plus in revenue, sixty percent margin, and under a penny. There seems to be a lot of potential for INTK here. I know there is like 
polar opposites with this stock. It is a complete scam versus it is the best stock in the entire world, right? I always suggest you be somewhere in the middle, be cautious, but also capitalize on the opportunities. So that's exactly what we're going to do with this stock, but no huge update here. But that is what I have for you on ticker symbol INTK. I list here, still one of my favorite penny stocks for 2022. Broke that 0.1 mark. Now it's down to 09 here. Nevertheless, could that just be a better buy-in? Hey, definitely, possibly. With iList always comes WSFT now, right? Which I also think has substantial ahead as well. But we did get a nice update here, which, by the way, follow me on Twitter at Trades by Brennan so you can get these updates. But iList, with a strong quarter behind us, we are confident that Q3 will bring record revenues and the achievement of our biggest milestones. Oh, can't wait for this, right? Uh, give me a comment down below if you're excited to see Eilis's record revenues. These kind of things always bump up stocks and always do great. And obviously, that is great for their long-term growth. We want to see new merger and acquisitions. We want to see record revenues. We want to see all their big milestones here. Can't wait to see this Q2 summary with the highlights, which will be coming next week, along with a new acquisition and business update video by JP Backwell. Can't wait to see some of these updates. That is absolutely great. Now, the last stock that I have for you on today's list is NEO, right? So, NEO is obviously one of my favorite stocks for the long term, no doubt about it. I think NEO has great potential. I was a little bit off the NEO train when everything was happening with China, but now I'm kind of back on it as everything with China has kind of settled down a little bit. Doesn't seem like NEO is going to be getting delisted or anything like that, although that is still a major concern and always should be. But NEO sitting here at these $21 price levels, we were talking about it when it dropped down to 15. We've been in this stock for like well, well, well over a year now. Well, Jeez, probably like two years now. It was back when it was about, uh, I think, $13, so about right here. And then we came down to 14 pretty much where we bought in at our first price. Nevertheless, it has made a nice jump, to, uh, jump up since then. But this is one of my favorite long-term stocks, right? This is not a stock that, you know, I'm going to be selling right away. This is one of my favorite long-term investments here. That is NEO. And let's take a look at some of this stuff. So we can see here from Moon Market, NEO is another long-term gold mine. 100% agree. Look at these uh, deliveries. Um, so in June 2022, a 60% year-over-year increase in deliveries. They're expected to launch new uh, cars coming up here in the near future. <sighs> I just can't wait for what Neo has in store here. Honestly, you can see their monthly deliveries here. Hopefully, we can zoom out. Yep. So in the green is going to be 2022, just shooting up massively here. June just huge shoot up, and hopefully we will see that continue. But month over month ish, they continue to just increase and continue to do great, right? So I love Neo, and they're one of those companies that just continues to under promise and over deliver. They set their milestones here, and they always achieve way up here. I absolutely love companies that do that. Obviously, Tip Ranks is expecting them as well. We can see they're giving Neo a $33 price target with a 58% upside. Great news here. I'd love to see it for Neo. Many analysts have price targets way higher than that, all the way up to $50 per share. Tons and tons of analysts making price targets here. $52 per share $83 wow great stuff here for neo hopefully we do achieve hey my long-term price target has always been a hundred dollars for neo i want to see them achieve that but regardless guys that is all i have for you in today's video check out these penny stocks especially the new one let me know what you think down below drop all your penny stocks down below and let me know what you think come join us in the discord so you can get all these alerts oh doc just gave us another trade alert selling a covered call here on his sq shares right here sq is 67 dollar call selling it at a dollar 28 I have to update you guys and see where it goes. But the link will be in the description to join us in the Discord under Patreon. And then you will get sent a video how to connect to Discord. I made a great video to show you guys because I know it is a little bit difficult. That's all I got for you guys. And I will see you in the next one.